The 2021 wildfire season in the Pacific Northwest experienced an early start due to an abnormally dry spring coupled with low snowpack levels amid an ongoing drought. In particular, Oregon has been experiencing increasingly large fire seasons over the last few decades, with the preceding 2020 wildfire season being one of the most destructive in the state's history. As with much of the rest of the Western United States, fire officials were predicting another above average season in 2021 due to expected low precipitation and high temperatures. The 2021 wildfire season came to a close in Oregon and Washington with just under 1.5 million acres affected by fire. These numbers were not as staggering as in 2020 when over 1.9 million acres burned. 2021 was a challenging year, including every aspect but one, human-caused fires. These represented over 75% of all fires this year in the Pacific Northwest. Last summer, 4,075 fires were recorded in the Pacific Northwest. Of that number, 1,000 fires were ignited by the over 22,000 lightning strikes, which leaves the remaining 3,075 fires as human caused. Firefighters continue to show their success. Of the 4,075 fires, just 2% grew to large fire status. In addition to the Northwest incident management teams, there were also 26 out of area teams that were mobilized. In total, over 90,000 firefighters and support personnel were mobilized to the Pacific Northwest during the summer months. At one point, there were over 8,600 firefighters in the region, which equates to about 33% of the nation's firefighting resources. In Oregon, the largest complex was the bootleg in Southeast Oregon, which burned over 413,000 acres. The largest fire in Washington state was the Schneider Springs incident on the Okanagan Wenatchee National Forest. That fire burned over 107,000 acres. The drought and heat wave in 2021 was a direct result of climate change. These conditions have made wildfires harder to fight in the American West. Scientists say climate change has made the region much warmer and drier in the past 30 years and will continue to make weather more extreme and wildfires more frequent and destructive. As we look back on 2021 and prepare for 2022, the Pacific Northwest Wildfire Group and the Northwest Coordination Center would like to say thank you. To the many partners, stakeholders, contractors, local fire and rescue departments, and neighbors who worked alongside us to protect Northwest livelihoods.